How many programs do you have? I don't know. I I really I don't have a legal open uh, a, a legal uh, uh, software. Yeah, I use uh, alternative for Microsoft Word. Open source. Now yeah, you have open source. Yeah, you are right. Open source. Uh, it's not. It's not different. I use a a free a free a free Microsoft Word. But we can. But I have to change my. For example, I have to create an email every three months. Why? Uh, because uh, the license is not legal. At the moment, my my PC is 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 new, but I I don't know. I don't know how to to fix the problem. Do you have Windows? Pirata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pirate programs. Yeah, this is but the reason. I'm... Sorry. <laughs> the, the, the license is, is cheaper. Yeah. Uh, um... Next week, I I. I will go to to the uh, with a technician to install a legal a legal program and to extend you can ex find to extend the, the memory. Ah, the memory, yes, but but you can buy the. The online, online. The distance. Yes, gbgmall.com. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I will try. Yes, I have a, a gmail.com. gbgmall. It's so easy. It's so easy, right? It's a online store. Yeah. And, and Windows. Original, maybe sixteen dollars. Um, eighty-five dollar. No, uh, no, on GVG Mall, it's cheaper. Oh, okay. Okay, cheaper good. From Thank you for your G -G advice. Have he uve he GVG. Okay, have he GVG, right? GVG yes. Mall. Yes. Okay. Mal the, the, the yeah, GBG mall. Yeah. yeah. A virtual a virtual tools, a virtual mall, for example. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, okay, uh, GVG. GVG. GVG mall. Okay, thanks. Hi people, good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Well, I Hello. didn't want to stop you because I heard that you were speaking a lot. So I was like, okay, that's really nice to hear. I don't know, just speaking English. <laughs> so how are you doing? Are you doing okay? Are you are you fine? Gabby, good evening. Judy, good evening. How are you doing, guys? How is your Friday going? Good evening. Good evening. Are you doing all right? Just waiting the weekend. Mm, okay, definitely. But uh, Friday is over, so the weekend is coming, and I guess that gotta be really good news. Um, thank you so much, guys, uh, for joining today. I hope you're having a very nice day. Uh, Fridays are always crazy, you know, people get crazy, but how was it for you? Was it okay? Everything okay. Everything okay? Okay. Yeah. Arnoldo, are you working today? Are you gonna be with us? I'm at home. Ah, okay, very good. So Arnoldo, don't skip it. <laughs> We're gonna be like asking you a lot of questions. Oh, and I already heard you talking with Adolfo. So I was like, okay, cool. It's really nice that you speak English. Andrea, great to see you, Helen, good evening. 
Uh, thank you guys for joining. How is your Friday? As I always say, like TGIF, right? So thanks God it's Friday. Christian, Daniel, good evening. Hi, Daniel. So you're you're at work. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I guess I'm okay. in work place. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much for joining. Let us know, please. Necesita, you know, stand up or something, or you have an emergency. So let us know, no problem. Christian, how how was your day? Was it okay? Uh, it's all okay. Thank you, teacher. So nasi como. <laughs> it wasn't boring was it like oh whatever no did you have a boring day no uh a busy day tiring busy day okay is it always busy uh lately mm, okay okay but is it good or is it bad no it's it's good it's okay. Good. I guess it has to be good because you can, um, time passes really fast. So time goes really fast when it's busy. Uh, you don't have time to breathe when it's already over. But I just, I just imagine it's gotta be tiring too. Hey, Helen, Andrea, girls, I haven't heard girls. How, how you doing? How was your day? Hi, miss. Good evening. Good My evening. Friday was a normal day, a lot mm -hmm. of work, a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but you you go in a motorcycle, right? You you ride a motorcycle. Yes, but the traffic is hard. Oh, okay, but you move in San Salvador, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel scared? Eh, ya no not anymore no mm, sometimes eh, it's, it's it's a scare but the cars eh, don't respect me and do I you think respect that I, and do you yes. respect cars eh, <laughs> I try I try to respect cars uh, I think cars do not respect anyone. No. Cars. <laughs> it depends. Um, it depends on you know, the driver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Andrew. Are you a crazy driver? No. <laughs> I I try to to do uh, the correct. But do you use or do you write like in the middle of the lane? Um. Sometimes, when okay. the traffic is demasiado, a lot, a lot of traffic, mm -hmm. yes. I, I ride in medio. In the middle, okay. In the middle, okay. yes. Wow, but <laughs> uh, I mean, if you move in San Salvador, the traffic in San Salvador is horrible. Yes, uh, definitely. So my admiration goes to you because you have already uh, over, you know, um, overcome, I would say, the, the fear to ride a motorcycle there. It's a cool, super, super cool. Um, guys, I'm sharing this word before I forget that is lane, right? So lane is what we call a carril. Uh, so that's why, like, she writes in the middle of the lane. Okay. Okay. Yes, I know. So traffic these days have been, has, have been actually horrible. Helen, are you still at work? Judy, are you at work? No, teacher. Are you at home? I am, uh, yes, in at home. How is at rain? Home, sorry. No, no worries, that's okay. How is rain over there, guys? How is rain? Uh, in, in my in house, moment, it's raining oh, okay. itself. Oh, okay. So not in Santa Ana. Christian, but... where do you live? San Salvador? Uh, San Salvador. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because it's been raining like all day long, right? <laughs> Almost uh, all day long. 
All day long. Uh, mm -hmm. What do uh, what does it mean? Oh, let me write yeah. it. So all no no no. Uh, like all day long, como a lo largo de todo el día o durante todo el día. So all day long. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, with uh, cloudy day, a cloudy day. It has been cloudy. Yeah, you're totally right about it. Okay, guys, but let's, well, let's hope that this is going to get better and, you know, um, we're going to have better um, weather by um, tomorrow or by Monday. Uh, guys, just a little bit of... Um, I think it's here. Uh, gracias a quienes ya mandaron la información eh, a los compañeros de administración, right? Para el próximo módulo. Guys, todos siguen. Does everybody continue? Alguien va a hacer una pausa. No, right? No, teacher. Super, super, super. Yeah, guys, I mean, and it's intermediate number three. Everybody so les falta what? A little bit para terminar intermediate level. So yeah, amazing. Super, super cool. Uh, guys, terminamos oficialmente módulo on Monday. Please do not miss it. And thanks so much for being here. Hi, Imelda. Good evening. How you doing? Yes, that's right. So there is like a red alert. Uh, for some places in La Libertad in San Salvador, if I'm not mistaken. So, mm -hmm, exactly. So take your own precaution, right? So guys, let's get started today. Um, I have chosen a topic um, so we can start talking about it, especially because it is Friday. Uh, vibes feel a little bit different. And I got this one that is related to music. I guess everybody's super fan of music. Everybody has different kind of, you know, um, radio station, singers, bands, etc. I even remember last time, uh, David, wait, Daniel was sharing, ya le cambié el nombre, Daniel. <laughs> the Daniel was sharing even jingles from different oh. advertisements on TV. <laughs> that was super, super cool. So guys, today we're gonna talk a little bit about music, right? Um, I have a little reading so we can get familiar with it. You can give us an, uh, your opinion and then we can discuss it. Uh, let me start and then I can have some people read it. It says, listening to music, whether it be through a speaker or headphones, it is quite a common occurrence in the workplace. Kristen, continue, please. Uh, Manual workers such as builders, plumbers, and lovers often listen to the radio throughout the day. Other Thank you so much. Daniel, continue. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. okay, that's okay. Daniel, continue. Thank you. Uh, designers and developers are often often found working with headphones or listening to their favorite music or music which they claim helps them focus and be more productive. Thank you so much. Adolfo, continue, please. I have a, a little problem with my screen. Let me see, please. No, no worries. Eh, if you want also, Adolfo, eh, apague la camarita un momento. Creería que el internet le, le, le okay. está cortando. Now. Um. Oops. Are you with us? No. Can you no. see my screen? Oh, okay, okay, no worries, no worries. Creería que el internet. Judy, please, uh, help us continue here, even. Okay, even though this type of behavior seems to be more common now, nowadays, mm -hmm. there are still many people who believe listening to music while working is not only professional, but, uh, but also has a negative impact on the quality of work rooms. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, very nice. So guys, let's take a look at this part. 
uh, here we have a little bit about, uh, oh, okay, okay, no worries, Helen, that's okay. So we have some information about listening to music. Guys, uh, what are your thoughts about listening to music, but in the workplace? It says here that maybe in a speakers or with headphones, but some people believe that it is unprofessional and it has a negative impact. Guys, what do you think? Is it okay or it is not okay to listen to music when you are working? Uh, depending on the kind of work. Mm, uh, very it, good. For example, mm -hmm. for example, most of the people that uh, work in the design area always uh, are listening music. Mm -hmm. okay. But if you have a yeah, yeah, but for example, if you if you work uh, in the security uh, work, for example, mm -hmm. uh, it's not recommend to listen music all the time because you okay. you lose the attention. Oh, okay, interesting. So, if you are in the designing area, so. It is okay, but not for some jobs. Okay, yeah. guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Thank you, Adolfo. Sounds really good. Mm, in, my, in my case, I can uh, listen to music and work at the same time. Mm, you can't. I can. Why? I, I can concentrate in my work. Are you serious? Yes. So when you're working, you're not listening to music. <laughs> like not 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 even not even like in the in, I'm gonna write it in the chat. Not even in the background. So like background music, background music. Como música super suave de volumen, like background music. Mm, no. Like in the pizza, right? The the music is super super soft. No. No. Wow, interesting. Very strictly. Uh, okay, so it is interesting. All right, so not in your career. Well, not for you, right? What about doing other mm. activities? And I think uh, it's not depend of the activity. Uh, depends the the person. Oh, why? So you don't uh, like some, music at all? Some persons uh, can, uh, bueno, need to listen to music to work well. Uh, other person, mm -hmm. mm, no. Oh, wait. So whenever you study or when you work, you never listen to music? Mm, no. Okay, super interesting. Okay, okay, that's all right. Well, I had never heard that, but it calls my attention. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what do you think about this? I am super, my, you know, surprised. Yeah? In, in my workplace, I don't know, is uh, pro, prohibited? Yes, prohibited? Yes, prohibited. I don't, I, I don't know if it's so he can listen to music, but I and, and to my co-workers, uh, nobody listens to music. Nobody listens uh, to music? No, I don't. I, I don't. Um, only if uh, if my if my if my co-workers use headphones. I don't ah, know. Okay. I don't know he he if they uh, listen to music or listen uh, another another. Uh, a movie, a series, or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, ah, I don't know. Okay. In my, in so you my... respect? Yes, yes, uh, mm -hmm. yes. We talk when I am when when I enter to an office. I I see I see a a, a gay to workers uh, uh, using helping. I don't know. He's talking. He's talking by phone or listening mm -hmm. music. I don't. I, I don't know. In my personal case, I go in my workplace. I go, I go listen music. Mm -hmm. uh, only, oh, okay. 
it's on, only if, if I have a uh, free time, I mm -hmm. I check I check my my social media, my uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, another another uh, oh. social media. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but, I but... Don't, tell I me, don't, tell I, me, sorry. I don't like. Uh, I don't like to use cell phone. Mm -hmm. I only use cell phone for the class. Okay. No more. No more. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, no more but... because because uh, if if I if I use cell phone for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, my ear is. Uh, hurt. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Your ears hurt. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But right now, in the you look like you are in an office. Do yes. you have yes. your own spot? Do you have your own place? I'm gonna write it in the chat. Yeah. Guys, yeah. a spot is como un espacio, una oficinita, yeah. right? Do you have yes. your own spot? Yes, my 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 spot is is, is like a container. It's a oh, container okay. uh, to, to a container how uh, air con uh, air conditioner, desk, mm -hmm. chairs, uh, refrigerator, oh. and uh, how say micro microwave microwave uh -huh. Mic microwave this is but uh, in the in in that in 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 my own spot i don't have mm -hmm. uh, wi-fi if 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 i need oh, okay. if i need wi-fi i need to move to other to other building area like, like like this area um, like this area okay yes this is this okay. is not my this is not my office Mm -hmm. Oh, so right now you move just for the class? Yes, yes, for the class, yes. Mm -hmm. Because you need Wi-Fi, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, but I wonder, because right now, yeah. Daniel, you are working late at night, so you finish working in the morning, and yes. still, you don't like listening to music at night? Um, sometimes it's rad it's radically, it's radically listening to music. I, uh, so what uh, do you, what do you do not to not to fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> watching watching the phone, watching video, watching movies. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, but I, you I, watch I, some I, videos. I, I, I only I, I only listen to music. I, I only listen to music in my in my in my house when I have okay. day off. I, oh, okay. Yeah, I I see I see mucho de toda music. Oh, okay, okay. Probably you're just respectful of everybody's privacy. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, really interesting. We have different opinions about this topic. Um, I think I saw Rafa. Hi, Rafa. Good evening, Angelica. Hi, good hello, tell me. Hello, hello. Great to have you today. Great to meet you. Hello, Miss. So we are discussing this question that is uh, talking about music, right? If it is professional or unprofessional to listen to music. I have some questions, but before, let's get familiar with the vocabulary to talk about this topic. So uh, we have a couple here. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. So we have the first word that is most likely. So try and use the following vocabulary when, an when answering the questions. Uh, most likely is probably, right? So guys, include it in your vocabulary, please. When you want to say probably, change it for most likely. Uh, I think they will most likely vote against an increase in public health spending, but I think they will most, instead of most likely, probably. I think they will probably. So we use most likely. Um, Rafa, help me with affect. Can you read it? Can you read it, please? Can okay. you read it for us? Affect to have mm -hmm. an influence on someone or something, or to cause them to change, or to cause a strong emotion, especially mm -hmm. sadness. Mm -hmm. We were concerned about how changing schools would affect the children. Thank you so much. Exactly. So affect, right, is to have influence. Uh, Delmi, can you help me read as a result of? As a, res as a result of sometime. 
phrase because of example as a result of the bad water weather the football mm -hmm. match has been cancelled thank you so much so whenever you want to say oh because because of this because of that so we can use as a result of as a result of the weather, as a result of the bad weather, because of the bad weather, due to the bad weather. So we can use synonyms, right? To change that word. Thank you so much, Delmi. Um, let me see. Imelda, can you please help me read definitely? I don't know if Imelda is here. Andrea, are you around? I'm here. Perfect. Can you please help us with definitely? Okay. Definitely. Albert and without any doubt. Mm -hmm. Example, this is definitely the best burger I've ever eaten. Very nice. Okay. Exactly. So we have the word definitely, right? Guys, repeat with me, please. Definitely. Definitely. There we go. Um, so that is one of the probably most used words, like most likely and definitely. All right, next one is take something for granted. Um, I think I saw, no, Carlos said that he's on the way. Angelica, uh, are you around? Uh, Judy, are you with us? Okay, I guess they are not at the moment available. So it says take somebody or take something for granted. This word is really important and it says not to show that you are grateful for I'm something. Sorry, teacher. No worries, I'm miss. Sorry. No problem or something. And not remember that you are lucky to have them. So in Spanish, we use an expression that is dar, al dar algo por sentado or dar algo por hecho, right? And we don't, uh, it says here that you are not grateful uh, or to have the things. Like we shouldn't take this time we have together for granted. So when you take something for granted is when you say, oh, ya me dieron el ascenso, you know? You take it for granted, but then it is not like that. Pero uno lo da por sentado. So that is a part of the things that we have here. And the last expression that we have is when it comes to just to introduce a new idea that you wanna say something about. So when it comes to young children, I think that they should focus less on exams. So this expression is like talking about when it comes to uh, also, right? Um, and so we have very nice expressions here that we can use in the following questions that we have. So guys, before moving on, preguntas, dudas, do you have any question with this? I'm gonna take it as a no. <laughs> okay, so guys, yes, yes, tell me, no worries. The, the take for granted, mm -hmm. no necesariamente va unido a todo. Um, no. What happens here is that it's a stake and then somebody or something. Porque normalmente incluimos el que, right? Uh, so maybe a person or maybe, a, I don't know, uh, an object. For example, take the job for granted. So take it, take the job for granted. I'll call oh, okay. it like very general, take it for granted or take her for granted, right? When we talk about personas, take him for granted. So, si va junta, it goes together, pero acá este espacio es porque hace falta algo. We are missing something. Mm -hmm. That is why. Okay, guys, eh, solamente repitan conmigo antes de empezar a practicar, please. So, repeat with me. Most likely. Most likely. Likely. Likely, likely. Uh -huh, most likely. Likely. Most likely. Definitely. 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 Mm -hmm, there you go. So, Definitely. 
Uh huh. Exactly. Definitely. All right. Very good. Good guys. Good. 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 Now I have three questions for you that we can practice. Please, incluyamos esas expresiones when it comes to most likely, definitely, you know, and let's try to include all of the expressions. Question one, what, what type of music do you think is best to listen while working, if there is any, talking about music? What professions should definitely not listen to music while working? Christian gave us an example, <laughs> but he mentioned yeah. not, it doesn't depend on the job, but it is about the person. So I don't know, guys, tell us, um, do you think listening to music when, it, when in the office is rude? Uh, Daniel ya nos comentaba that people don't listen to music in at his office or in, at his workplace. Do you think it's rude? Remember, rude no es de rudo, sino que rude es de impolite, de descortés, right? De abusivo, something like that. So we got these three questions, okay. Uh, let's include all the vocabulary you can, guys. Incluyemos todas las palabras nuevas que hayan visto, you know, new words, um, new expressions. Always try to include new things. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Let's go ahead. Let's share ideas and I'll join you in a moment. Let's go, 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 go. Hello, hello. Hi, Margarita, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Miss. How are you doing? Ahorita me uno. Thank you, thank you. So we're talking about music. The questions that you see on my screen are the questions they are discussing, okay?
Hello, Judy. Yes, I saw you, but no worries. You're fine. Uh, is your internet better, Judy? Is your internet mejoró? Is your internet a little better? Sorry, teacher. Uh, your internet just un poco mejor. Is it better? So, so, teacher. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool to hear. Give me just a moment because the others are still in the group. Yes, they are still in the group. Okay, guys, that was like a very nice uh, practice, definitely. Um, I heard uh, most of you using like cool expressions, utilizando a un par de expresiones that are kind of new. Good job with that. Eh, escuché en vez de, for example, for instance, uh, escuché like definitely. So very good, guys. De eso se trata, right? Que siempre agreguemos vocabulario nuevo, lo que, la palabra que aprendemos, que la usemos, and pretty much that is what is going to uh, improve our vocabulary. So, uh, cool job with talking about music. Sounds really good. Now, guys, vamos a, a trabajar un poquito en este tema que tenemos pendiente, que son las doble negativas. And uh, I didn't listen to be difficulties today, so I'm super happy about it. Pero por si acaso, solamente revisemos el tema super quick. Uh, yesterday, veíamos que las dobles negativas um, Son expresiones bien comunes that we say, pero que podemos mejorarlo. Uh, we can improve it y podemos sonar mucho mejor. And we checked a little bit of some, a little bit of any, no, and every, right? If we're talking about people, things, places, etc. So I have a couple of things for you. Uh, so, I have, for example, with every, like everyone, everybody, everything, everywhere. Y decimos que every se refiere a cada uno de los elementos. Like everyone is waiting. Oh, me refiero a cada uno. Everything is great. Me refiero a cada una de las cosas. You have been everywhere. So a cada uno de los lugares. So every refers to every single place. And la oración es positiva con ellos. So we need positive sentences to use them. Um, any, por el otro lado, so any lo usamos for negative y lo usamos for equations, right? So uh, any is más para uh, negative sentences. I don't know any wonder. I don't have anything new. I don't want to go anywhere. So como ya tengo una negación, Ya no puedo decir no one, nothing, porque sería doble negación y vamos a evitar eso. Questions va a ser lo mismo. Do you have any? Would you like any? Do you know any? So we use any para preguntas también. That is the most common expression there. Eh, on the other hand, tenemos todas las que van con no, right? No ya es negativa. So, no podemos utilizarla en oraciones negativas. So, negative meaning in affirmative sentences. No one could do the homework. Nothing is wrong. There's nowhere to go in the evenings. So, cuando veo el no, oh, me refiero a nadie. A nada, right? A ningún lugar. So, uh, let's remember that they are called indefinite porque son bien generales. So I'm not talking about a person, but generally. So no one, nothing, no word. And those are the most common infinitive, indefinite pronouns. Guys, eh, del ejercicio que revisamos el día de ayer, ¿tienen dudas? Do you have any doubt? Any question? De este tema, no? Um, no, teacher, in my, oh. in, for me, no. Okay, because good. Dígame. Give for us an uh, example. Uh, Adolfo, I'm so sorry. Se le está quebrando un poco, dígame. Uh, 
Hello. No sé si era usted o lo confundí con Arnoldo. <laughs> no. Uh, you, uh, we, we got, uh, last night, uh, we got a good example using bad words. Yeah, you remember that? Using bad words? Uh, both of words. For ah, example. okay, okay. Remember? Yes, yeah, well, I hope you remember. <laughs> No, yes, of course, we practiced a little bit. No, lo que sucede es que le escuché It's la palabra bad words. And I was like, bad words, wait. Yo no le decía oh. malas palabras. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, no, I creo que sí les he enseñado alguna, but, you know, no la aprendieron aquí. <laughs> okay, so, um, in the chat, Uh, please confirm si pueden uh, acceder pueden descargar el documento que les acabo de compartir if you are in your cell phone it's gonna be a little bit difficult but if you are in your computer this is gonna be like a piece of cake so uh, it is called indefinite pronouns y tenemos un par de ejercicios so we have a couple of exercises permítanme un segundo let me turn off my camera que se me está cortando mucho de video So we have a lot of exercises with the indefinite um, pronouns. Me confirma si lo pueden ver? Can you let me know, please? Yes, no. No. Yes. No. Don't know. It's the moment. We are. Uh... Okay, give me one second, because you're supposed to see the exercise. Give me a moment. We will wait. Oh, no, sorry. I shared the wrong exercise. I, I shared the wrong file. Okay, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I shared the, the presentation. So give me just a moment. Let me share the correct exercise because that's not the one. And uh, this is the one, okay. Mm, it is a Word document. Oh. Yes, it is called find and correct the mistake. Do you see that? Um, guys, logran ver el documento? Are you able to see the document? Yes, yes. I, I can see. You can't? I can't. Okay. Uh, so guys, in the first part, it says, uh, find and correct the mistakes. And we have, uh, I those páginas, but please, in the second one, guys, in the second one, uh, you have the answers. <laughs> okay, so, voy a confiarles, I'm gonna trust you, and I'm gonna trust that you're not going to cheat, okay? <laughs> that you're going to be honest with yourselves. <laughs> but of course, um, you can take a look at the answers right there. So uh, in the first one, it says, uh, um, we have a little bit, tenemos una descripción, um, we have a couple of things, uh, que es como un repaso de todo lo que hemos estado practicando, most of the things we have been practicing, right? And, pero uh, denme un segundo, give me just a second. Uh, so si tenemos everywhere, tenemos somewhere, tenemos anywhere, Uh, we have like to select the correct word. And guys, uh, se los comparto por acá, you know, para que les quede de recuerdo y les quede grabado. But quiero que se vayan al ejercicio número tres. I want you to go to exercise number three. And this is the one we are going to complete right now. So exercise number three says underline the correct word to complete the sentences. So, um, guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes, right? So you can take a look at the exercise and you can select 
what you think is the correct answer. So give me just a moment. Ya les presento. Si no lo logran ver, no se preocupen, no worries. Uh, I'm going to present my screen here. Just give me a sec. Okay, guys, so si no tienen visibility, don't worry. Uh, this is the one that is in, the, in exercise number three. And this is the one that we are going to use uh, right now, okay? Oh, Margarita tiene problemas con el... Okay. Okay, okay. So I'll give you five minutes, guys. Select the correct answer, and then we compare answers. Please no vean la respuesta. Don't look at the answer. Okay. No problem. There was don't come for there was no buy. There was no buy. Two more minutes.
Oh, guys, are we ready? Hi, Carlos, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, How are you doing? I don't know why, but um, the reunion was, well, me desconectó porque he estado luchando por conectarme nuevamente. Quizás el Inter, fíjese. Es que voy en, voy en camino todavía, ando afuera. Gracias por conectarse. Tenga cuidado, no, 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 be careful, no, no, Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Take a lot of care. And thank yeah. you so much for being here. But yeah, <laughs> de hecho, yo estoy con el teléfono y me acaba de sacar también. So, um, from uh, the... Uh, uh, porque tenía las dos conectadas. So I don't know what's going on. Pero bueno. Ajá, yo tuve que conectarme del otro porque no sé qué pasó ahorita. Estaba conectado en el, en el iPhone. Y de repente me sacó y me dijo que ya no podía ingresar. Me tuve que conectar con el otro aparato. Yeah, so I, I would say it's just the connection. Give me a sec. Yeah. But thank you, thank you for being here and be careful. <laughs> Please, yeah, I hope you get, uh, you know, safe and yeah. sound to your house. Um, yeah. People, are we ready? Do you need more time to complete the exercises or are we okay? ¿Cuál era la tarea? Perdón. Uh, wait, the exercise is just to complete this one that says underline the correct words, complete the sentences. Carlos, pero oh. me está manejando. ¿Cómo no? No, pero ¿Cómo, cuando, cuando, agarro, <laughs> cuando agarro un semáforo ahí, veo. <laughs> Please, careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Super careful. Okay, it's you just to, well. to select this one. Okay, um, guys, so help me with the answers, please. Number one, the room was empty. There was everybody, nobody, or anybody in there. Nobody. Nobody. Yes, very good. Number two, why don't you come for, from, or around this evening? For? Around? Um, mm -hmm. Why don't you come for? For this evening. Interesting, guys. Come for, come from, or come around. Come round. Sorry, right. come round. Come from. Come for evening. Come from. Okay. Wow. For. Okay. Okay. Home. Let me just uh, go ahead here and select the correct answer. Okay. So the first one was there was nobody, right? The second one, it says, why don't you come for this for, evening? For, so we can use for. For. Mm -hmm. for. Yes. Yeah. We couldn't use from because from refers to the beginning or from the. From is a play. Um, uh -huh, where something starts. And round. Podría funcionar si fuera around, but not round. Number three, when our yeah. teacher won, done, doesn't give us homework. And does doesn't. doesn't give us. Mm, what do you think? Doesn't give us. Is doesn't. Doesn't. Very nice. Third person. When our Third teacher person. doesn't give us homework, we are, okay. we uh, were, or we is. Are. Are. We are. Yeah, Not your that. case, right? <laughs> okay, so we are very happy, <laughs> yes. Number four, my father buys, have bought, or has bought a new desktop computer. Mm, has, has, bought. 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 has bought. Has bought, exactly. Has bought. Um, ¿Por qué no buys? Si sí podemos, but obviously es bien diferente. Because it's like, mi papá siempre compra, me da la idea de rutina. But not in this case, it's just ha comprado. So my father has bought a new desktop computer. Number five, Chan's Chinese yeah. restaurant is the good, best, or better place in town? Best. Better. Best. Better? Better. Or best? Better. Or good? Best. Best. Tomamos como referencia de. So the, 
Exactly, the best. Superlative. So it is the best. Number six, Jane com came, comes or is coming to French classes every Thursday? It's coming. Um, coming. Right. Comes. 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 Okay, let's tengo una pregunta. Every Thursday. ¿Qué me indica every Thursday? A routine. A routine. So Jane. Comes. 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 Jane comes to French classes every Thursday. But you know, sin embargo, la respuesta que ustedes mencionaron, Jane is coming, también tiene sentido si es algo por un mes, you know, or por, unas, por un par de semanas. So it could be, yeah. uh, especialmente because no tenemos más contexto here. So it, it could apply for both. But the most, uh, the closest, that would be comes. Seven, the hotel is, oh, and there we Somewhere. go. Somewhere. Somewhere, anywhere, or everywhere near here, but let's look at the map. Somewhere. 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 Mm -hmm. That is right. Somewhere. The hotel is yeah. somewhere. Anywhere is solo para negativas y preguntas, yeah, right? Yeah, and everywhere is como por todos lados. No, but that's not possible. Because it is only one place, okay? Number eight, Nick's laptop isn't working. Won't work or doesn't work at the moment? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Again, doesn't work. los invito a que veamos esta expresión que me da el tiempo at the moment. Uh -huh. Isn't working. Isn't working. Isn't working, porque es ahorita. Exactly. So Nick's laptop isn't working at the moment. Very good. Number nine, the film was bored. Boring or bore? Nothing happened. Boring. Bored. 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 Um, Boring. ¿Se recuerdan que vimos hace poco ED y MG? Do you remember yes. that? O oh, oh, estoy teniendo yeah. un hallazgo. I don't yes. remember. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, if you remember, tenemos interested, interesting, bored, boring, worried, boring. boring. Mm. Pero was? dice the film, es una película. Was. So, was. Was? In past. Was. Mm, sí, pero estos son boring adjetivos. These are adjectives. Which one, Imelda? Boring because it's uh, in two words. That. that is correct. Usamos boring porque es un algo. No es una persona. Exactly. So the film was boring. Nothing happened. It's so boring. usamos ING para describir cosas, ya, eh, situaciones, movies, books, no gente. Eh, so, y en este caso, we're going to use ING. Si fuera una persona, we can say ED. We can use bored. Oh, ella está aburrida. She is bored, right? Uh, number 10. We do, we bored. did, or we are doing. Uh, again, los invito que revisemos esa palabra this week. Are doing. Are doing. Did. This week. Are well, doing. si lo vemos que ahorita doing. es viernes. I think it's deal. Si lo we vemos did. que es viernes, yes, yes, right? I'm going to speak with Pero la semana termina domingo. So, yeah, ambos son posibles. Both are possible. No tenemos más contexto, so we don't know. Uh, normally, con this week is porque no ha terminado, so we use present continuous. We are doing a project at a school this week. Pero también, based on the fact that today is Friday, we can say we did a project at a school this week. Y ambas están bien. Uh, number 11, Sarah was very excited, exciting, and excited on her birthday. So, yes, very good. Excited. Excited. Porque es persona. Every. Now it is possible. And the last one, guys. The third in of at December is Mary's birthday. Of December. Very good. Uh, in este caso, 
como es el 3 de diciembre. So the 3rd of December. We're going to use of for okay. this specific scenario. A pesar que por lo general para meses utilizo in, right? In January, in February, but esto me da un contexto diferente. So the 3rd of December. Um, guys. ¿Cuántos tienen? How many did you get? A couple good, so so, kind of, o todos bien, all of them good. Almost all, almost, almost, good. almost all of them. Almost, yeah, all. almost all of them. Yes. Almost also. Okay. For example, for me, I have a mistake with has both. Mm, okay, okay, but yeah. not that bad. So sounds good. Sounds really, really good. Okay, guys, perfect, perfect, perfect. Give me just a moment. Uh, hold on a second. So I'm super glad that most of you got it right. Um, so let me, let me open the material because my computer got it stuck. I'm sorry, hold on, please. Okay, guys, and uh, today we are going to work. Um, give me one sec. Okay, there you go. So we are going to work on one more thing that is related to uh, branding, right? And uh, please, guys, if you are in your material, so you can go to page uh, number 38. So we talk about the different uh, stages for uh, branding and uh, give me one second. Give me just a second. Okay. And uh, guys, to move ahead with this part, I want you to take a look at the following description with vocabulary. So it says, the following words describe the stages that customers go through as they build loyalty to a brand, product, and organization. Match the stages to the corresponding description. Um, which of the words we have here do you think belongs to the description? We have advantage, presence, bonding, relevance, and performance. So let's take a look at the shortest. Let's start from the bottom up. Uh, customers are aware of your brand, but little else. What do you think this is? Uh, presence. Oh, did you complete the exercise before? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I saw you were like reading. I was like, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, we have uh, consumers have determined the cost, advantage, and performance at all, um, at all at levels that they are happy with. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. Customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their self, sense of self. And customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. So what do you think each of these expressions represent? First of all, let's go over the part that is bonding. Do you have any idea what bonding is? Do you know what a bond is? Yeah, when you when you buy only the same brand name. Mm, kind of, kind of loyalty. Christian, creo que mencionó something else too. Lasso. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. 
Exactly. So maybe you buy the same brand, pero pon. Vínculo. Es exactamente esto, una conexión, a right? A, a link. link, a connection with somebody. So de estas, guys, vamos por las que estén más fáciles and the ones that we can, um, you know, match with. So we have relevance and performance. Remember that performance is rendimiento, como a la mejor, right? The one that with with this performance, with this everything. Okay. So, vamos a la primera. Customers begin comparing the brand with others to see if it delivers. Está fácil, guys, el jato weather. So, what is this? Uh -huh. Okay, advantage. Performance. 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 Performance, exactly. Porque es como el rendimiento que tiene, right? Okay. Yeah. Next yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Next you one say says. Potential. Uh -huh, the potential, exactly. Uh, the next one says customers um, are beginning to associate brand with emotions. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? Bonding. Bonding, exactly. So, eso Bonding. también está en su material, guys, in unit number four. Mm -hmm. Bonding. Next one. Customers yeah. start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. Relevance. 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 Relevance, okay. So, let's say that. If not, we can come back, no problem. Uh, consumers have determined that cost, advantage, and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. Advantage. Advantage. Okay. Advantage. So, advantage. And we are missing one more. So, that is number two. Presence. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, it says customers are aware of your brand, but little else. Mm -hmm. So, they know that SEDEX exists, but that's it. Okay. Okay, guys. So, we have all of these words, but they below, they belong to this uh, pyramid right here. Give me one second. Let me just go down a little bit. Okay, and we have this part that says order the stages of brand loyalty in the pyramids. Compare the pyramids with another pair. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer, guys? What are we going to be doing? Give me just a moment. Because we have a little video para que entendamos or we listen to what is brand loyalty. So... Give me one second. Just a moment. Okay, uh, let me share this. Oh no, it doesn't work, hold on. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be sharing one video here. Okay. 
and okay, this is building brand loyalty so we can develop a little bit of listening practice. Remembered that you can play some subtitles, you can have um, some group discussion, right? And guys, what we are going to do is the following based on the video that you have, para que entendamos un poquito what this is, vamos a hacerlo en grupo. Vamos a intentar, you know, we're going to try to do it in group. And in groups, vamos a escoger cuál es el orden de las fases, you know, what are, what is the order of the stages of brand loyalty. So here tenemos el inicio que es bonding. ¿Qué le sigue a bonding? So what is like from the, 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 the top right to the bottom is it performance is it relevance a bonding presence or advantage guys vamos a hacer uno por grupo we're gonna do one per group eh, pueden compartir el grupo and the video in the group no problem with that and uh, i'm going to give you like 10 minutes i would say that is enough uh para que podamos completar la actividad so you can complete that one uh, probably in the video, van a encontrar vocabulario nuevo, like a lot, a lot of new vocabulary. But please, guys, no se detengan, like, to investigate every word, a menos que sea que la escuchen 10 veces, the same, the same, and the same. You can write it down, check it out, right? De lo contrario, solo escúchenlo, intenten uh, tener la idea general, what they are talking about. E intentemos al final crear esta pirámide, right? Uh, guys, I'll give you some minutes. Uh, please go to the groups. Compartan el video in the group, right? And let's complete the pyramid as well. This is in your material. So, and the video is in the WhatsApp group. So you can share that as well. Vámonos, guys. You got 10 minutes.
Hello, hello, guys. So, come on, let's work. How was that? How was the that, listening part? It's terrible, terrible teacher. Terrible teacher. Terri no, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. guys, uh, what's equal teachers? <laughs> because yeah, because we spend we, we spend so much time listening in the video, and uh, it what it was better to to read again the the chart with the solution. And 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 put again the num the number yeah yeah and and look for for the position in the pyramid. Mm, okay, well, uh, both activities are important. Listening is important because we get to know yes, more first. about what is this thing of brand loyalty. But completing was okay. But guys, coming to the listening part, when it comes to listening, come on, let's focus on listening. <laughs> eh, the man eh, was the accent too strong Rafa, ¿qué pasó, Rafa? <laughs> Escuché su sonrisa there <laughs> What happened? Yeah. It's terrible and listening <laughs> Pero, Was it too fast? What happened, guys? Talk to me Estaba um, demasiado rápido Too fast yeah, Too it's strong accent. el acento. British, I think so. I don't know. Oh, the vocabulary is muy difícil. What was the yeah, hardest? A difficult words. Okay, the, okay, difficult words. Yeah, Guys, it's so hard. Demás, what was the hardest it's, thing? It's a, it's a hard speech. Uh, okay, well. Yes, definitely. No vocabulary siempre eh, tiene un poquito de challenge, right? But yeah. guys, eh, how much did you learn from it? ¿Qué tanto lograron comprenderle? How much did you get? I only remember the name, Harry Gardiner. <laughs> okay, okay. Aparte del, del nombre, uh, how much did you learn? Uh -huh. Did you uh, did you understand him? Ten percent, twenty percent. About the fifty. Fifteen or fifty. 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 Okay, fifty percent. Yeah. Okay, guys, los demás, how much? And they have a point. Uh, ¿Alguien comprendió, guys, todo lo que decía eh, eh, the guy? Uh, the, the, the no. Tell, uh, the oh. history. Not always. Not everything. But he talked no talk about the strategy. No, teacher. ¿Qué tanto, Miss? How much? I, I think I understand the general idea. Mm -hmm. But for me, the difficult was to uh, compare the the concepts at the book and the concept in mm -hmm. the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are yeah, right. right. Because they are not that similar. Okay. Okay. All right. But the, definitely listening comes to a little bit of hard thing to work on. Okay, guys. Vamos a dejar esta actividad. We're going to continue with this activity on Monday. Porque les tengo otro video. <laughs> les voy a compartir un video. I'm going to share another video. Uh, Lastimosamente, um, necesito revisar porque no me funciona este. But guys, si alguien le abre el video que tenemos aquí en el material, compártelo, please. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but a mí no me lo abrió. So, um, we are going to try to complete this per, uh, pyramid on Monday. Recordemos, guys, no completen, porfa, la encuesta de, de satisfacción hasta el día lunes. Tenemos finalización. Please, no vayan a perderse el día lunes, because that's really important. Eh, para propósitos de auditoría también, que ustedes están acá. Y tenemos la finalización, all right? Um, completen la plataforma, please, 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 para este fin de semana, de ser posible. Para que el lunes ya estén tranquilísimos, you know, and, and you don't have to worry about completing that at night. 
So guys, eh, gracias a todos por being here. Um, have an amazing weekend. Que disfruten su fin de semana. Por ahí les comparto el video uh, on the weekend para que puedan practicar a little bit. All right. Um, and, and thank you guys. I'll see you on Monday. Have a nice okay, weekend. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. This is the best day of the Que sus noches cruise. sea corta, Daniel. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Daniel va a trabajar, guys. Okay. So bye. 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 bye.